Gentlelady is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise in support of Stop Terror Financing and Tax Penalties on American Hostages Act, H.R. 9495. The intent of this bill is simple. No American who has suffered the injustice of wrongful detention or hostage taking by our adversaries should return home to face penalties and interest from their own government. Under current tax law, individuals who have been held against their will can be subject to late Payment, late tax payment penalties and interest after returning home from captivity. Not only does this defy common sense, it defies compassion. This is an obvious flaw and that only worsens the trauma of individuals and families who have already faced extraordinary challenges. In addition to righting this egregious wrong, the bill revokes the tax exempt status for organizations found to be supporting these terrorist groups. By the way, an initiative that passed unanimously in the uh, House Ways and Means Committee. Contrary to what some of my colleagues across the aisle believe, the American people do not want hard-earned tax dollars to be funneled to terrorist organizations. Numerous House Ways and Means Committee investigations have uncovered evidence that groups like Samadun, for example, are actively laundering funds through nonprofit organizations to terrorist organizations. This comes at an important time as last month marked one year since Hamas's brutal attack on Israel, with many hostages currently being wrongfully detained at the hands of designated terrorist groups like Hamas. The Stop Terror Financing and Tax Penalties on American Hostages Act will ensure that American hostages, wrongful detainees, and their families are not further burdened with the tax penalties and interest for circumstances beyond their control. While I'm thankful that we are taking a pivotal step today to correct this injustice, we must continue to fight to secure the release of Americans being illegally held abroad, like my constituent, Ryan Corbett, a wonderful husband and father from Dansville, New York, who remains wrongfully detained by the Taliban. Ryan Corbett has been wrongfully detained by the Taliban for 825 days, being held in a nine by nine foot basement cell without regular access to a bathroom, sunlight, or medical care. Ryan's health is deteriorating quickly and the situation is dire. I urge President Biden and Secretary Blinken to do everything in their power to bring Ryan home and reunite him with his amazing wife, Anna, and their three beautiful children, Katsia, Miram, Miriam and Caleb. I want to thank Chairman Jason Smith, Speaker Mike Johnson, and Leader Steve Scalise for bringing this important bill to the floor. I'll also note that this bill passed unanimously out of the House Ways and Means Committee, including with the support of Ranking Member Richie Neal. In closing, I ask my colleagues to support the Stop Terror Financing Tax Penalties on American Hostages Act to send a clear message that we stand by our federal citizens who have endured unthinkable consequences abroad. And with that, I thank you, and I yield my time. The gentlewoman yields back. The gentlewoman